hi guys welcome to this um, unboxing process I bought this uh, product from eBay as you can see uh, it's an automatic 15 kilowatt voltage stabilizer um, I bought it for a property in Africa uh, whenever there is power supply the voltage is often around that um, 180 to 192 volts <coughs> so in some cases it doesn't power the submersible water pump in the in the well <coughs> and um, can barely use it for you know for electric oven so I decided to buy this one just to st to stabilize that you know that kind of current now as you can see here it says it's gonna regulate any or stabilize any uh, voltage in between 120 to 270 volts and it's gonna give you an output of 220 volt which is exactly what I want and hopefully 15 kilowatts should be able to power a property because you're not expected I mean I don't think I would want to use a full 15 kilowatt at one time you know what of equipment so um, what I want to share with you is some of the features and specifications here uh, I'm not going to be reading everything but these are some of the things you can get here and um, when I spoke with the vendor he told me that uh, overload it has an overload pro protection uh, which is not really stated in this description and um, the product is already arrived I've opened it up I just thought I should add this as a prelude to that unboxing process and one thing that actually caught my attention here is the, is the input voltage in this description it says it's going to be between 120 to 270 volts uh, and the output is going to be 20, 220 volts plus or minus 5 however in the box and in the um, and in the manual that came with it, just a small pamphlet I'm, I'm going to show you in the unboxing process. It says it's going to be 130 to 270 volts, and this one it says it's going to be plus or minus 10%, uh, not 5% as it is in this description. But I'm hoping that this is going to serve well for the purpose uh, I bought it for. So. Um, it has um, all these features as you can see and another thing that I can that I notice is that everything is written in Chinese almost everything apart from some of the figures so uh, you may want to learn how to speak Chinese but because it's a straightforward thing you know um, you know the the, the normal inputs uh, uh, call for the cables that you're gonna connect and the output and how you want to connect it so should be able to get your ways around it now because I do in the UK um, we have a stable voltage and but uh, in order to be able to test these I need something else that I can use to regulate the voltage and use that one as an input so that this equipment can regulate that voltage and give me 220 volts so what I decided to do is to get these uh, voltage regulator this is a regulator this is the stabilizer so this stabilizer is to give you a particular output but this regulate a voltage which means you connect it to a 220 volts and you want to regulate that volt to give you an output of anything below that so that is why um, I ordered this just to test this but this one is not arrived yet I hope it's gonna arrive before I dispatch this to Africa where I am planning to deploy it or to use it so I'm gonna get started without wasting much of your time let's get started with the unboxing process this is already done I'm just using this as a prelude so I'm gonna share with you the unboxing process that I've already done thank you guys all right so just open it for the first time now for the fragile uh, label everything is pointing towards the side but this is the way it was delivered to me and due to the shape of the pack uh, of the of the product itself i just don't know which place to be top but i'm just i'm just going to be very careful to open this up got the screws for holding the product to the wall we've got some socket adapter I'm not sure why this is necessary anyway but this is what we've got I'm going to 
proceed and remove the PVC here. Let's put these on the side. Now, automatic voltage regulator. I do not read Chinese, but everything here has been written in some uh, Chinese um, letters, inscription, whatever you may want to call it. And uh, yeah, basically what I can read from here, since it is written in English, it can regulate or stabilize any voltage between 130 volts to 270 volts. So any voltage in between 130 to 270 volt, it can regulate. Now the place where this is going to be deployed, most of the time the voltage around there will be around 170 to 192 or thereabouts. So this will definitely help to boost it to 220 thereabout. Now I've got some other rack around here. So okay, just gonna take this out. I'm not sure what this is meant for. It is well packaged, well wrapped, securely wrapped, I would say. And here's what we've got. We've got the automatic voltage regulator. It's uh, 15,000 VA. That's about 15,000 watt. And here again, they put it here. That is, I don't know what is this in Chinese or in English, but definitely what I think they're trying to say here, any voltage between 130 to 270 volt. And uh, yeah, and I think the output would definitely be 220 volt plus or minus 10 percent of course base i'm gonna bring this out i want to see what we've got quite heavy um whoa whoa what kind of what sound is that okay now i'm gonna sit down and find a way to bring this out in my own way quite heavy I'm not sure how many kg exactly I think it said 24 only wow yeah it is quite heavy it's not that big but definitely it is heavy uh, one thing I want to do with this I would like to test it before I transport it to the deployment ground and what I'm going to be using it I'm going to be using another voltage regulator because here in the UK we have a stable uh, voltage which is between 220 to 240 uh, so the only thing I can do is to get a voltage regulator uh, which I already ordered it's just that it's going to be coming in a bit late and that voltage regulator will take in 220 and I can regulate it maybe to like 130 140 and i will use this one to stabilize it i'm going to share that process with you or that experiment with you guys so let's see what we've got around this it's sealed uh just the way it has come from the from the vendor i'm not sure if it is from the manufacturer directly but definitely it was well packaged uh, I'm gonna call this off. All right, somewhere here. Uh, you know, one thing that I don't think is very good about this is the fact that everything is written in Chinese. Um, letters it's just uh, very difficult so i think that this here we have some inlet here so i think there should be some input and output somewhere here i think yeah this is like a symbol this is like an f symbol so this will be the f but this one i'm not sure i think this one should be the input and this should be the output and this should be the f but i'm gonna read more from the manual I would have loved to open what is inside and I think it would really be good to do that but let's see 
if they have anything around it that says once you open it it's gonna void the warranty okay so I don't have anything like that you know normally you have some kind of label uh, okay so basically this is all we've got I'm gonna try to open it I would like to see what is inside and uh, here's the box okay so definitely this is the only manual that I've got and and I think you know going by the uh, by the labeling you can tell where the source from the meter you know to the two interface on the left and you've got the earth and then it goes to the appliances or wherever you want to connect it to and this one here I don't know what exactly it is for it's like the adapter the socket adapter it's somewhere on the side here but I yeah so I have not seen anything on the side or from the top for this so hey guys I think it would be best to try to open it let's see what we've got in there all right so we've got oh, three screws on the side and nothing here we've got three on this side and uh, yeah nothing on the side just two for the other uh, panel I'm just gonna try to open that and see what we've got here let me just see yeah so we've got two here this is for the interface for the uh, input and the out output to remove these I would like to see what exactly it's inside one down all right I got all the uh, six screws out only these ones I've not removed but let's see what we've got on the inside now so just gently move these out See, I'm not sure there will be some cables there, okay. There are some tiny cables. But I think this should explain all. I'm just trying to be careful not to Yeah, we've got this big transformer. Now, just to let you know, I'm not the best when it comes to um electricity so I may not be able to explain all this uh, component but definitely I know this is transformer we've got the two holders the two holes here to hold it to the wall or wherever you want to put it and we've got some transistors some bot chip and all of these components and we've got the interface here now how we we'll have to do something to interpret all of these because I need to be able to tell exactly where to pull the where the input needs to go which I believe this should be this one so basically if you're uh, you know planning to buy this, this is exactly what you're gonna be getting and you can see the transformer is really really big really really big um, I think that's what contributes to the whole weight of this uh, of this uh, product yeah I don't know I cannot really tell you exactly what we've got here we've got something else here I've got another board here and some circuit and some transistors and resistors and some other components around here well it seems like everything looks intact at the moment I just think the best thing I can do is to put it to a test uh, definitely I do not have any socket on the on the side as it is described in this particular picture on the side there so I don't think this is for that particular uh, for this particular module it's a different module I think this is what we've got here and uh, yeah that will be all for now uh, the next thing is I will just be waiting for the uh, for the voltage regulator the one I'm going to use to put it to a test and uh, We're going to do the test together. I'm going to share the entire process with you I'm going to be transparent with all this thing and then we'll take it up from there I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing process for this uh, voltage stabilizer. It's 15 kilowatt voltage stabilizer and uh, I want to use it to power uh, a big property uh, 
with submersible um, water pump yeah the, you know fridge freezers and electric oven um, microwave some other things over there you know that I would like you to part up so yeah I'm gonna pull this back off uh, the, everything seems to be okay uh, so far until I put it to a test okay Right, we're just gonna put everything back just as it was received and then put a screw back sorry that's the best I can show you guys uh, for this particular product until I put it to a test before I can tell you more about it 